Welcome back, fuckers. Right, today we're going to run through how to enter waypoints into the F-18 Hornet in the various types of waypoints that we can uh, use in the Hornet. So we're just sitting on the, the deck of the supercarrier. Looking nice and pretty. Sun's coming up. And we're going to go ahead and put some uh, some waypoints in. So let's get into it. We're going to jump on into the jet. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit F-10. Right, so we've got the F-10 menu here. So at the very top left, this uh, is your coordinates. Okay, and you can change the type of coordinate okay by pressing left alt and y so you can see as i press that it's cycling through all the different types of coordinates and it will change as you move your cursor around so when you move your cursor around on the uh, the map you can see these these are changing it's going to give you altitude elevation and going to give you a precision so we're going to go through firstly the good old standard which is lat long okay which is this one here so it's got the six numbers north 27 44 26 and then east 50 28 23 and then elevation and we're just going to go and we're going to put the, the cursor right over the top of sir abu Nua island all right and we're going to press left control left shift x and that's going to bring up this little guy here, which you won't have installed. So I'll put the link for this thing in the description. It's called DCS Scratchpad. Um, it's just a little mod that runs, you know, it's super easy to install. Link will be in, in the description below and to get it to come up and to make it disappear. Left control, left shift X. And it's pretty much just notepad for uh, DCS world. So we're going to make the window, all right? So we can drag it around wherever we want. Make sure that the little, uh, the fucking cursor thing there is in there. And we're just gonna move the mouse over the spot we want. So we're gonna use that coordinate right there and we're gonna punch it in. So we're gonna go north, two, five, one, three, five, nine. And then we're gonna go east, five, five, four, one, three, zero, six. And then elevation is 138 feet. All right. And pretty much when we wanna get out of that, you just press escape or click out of the, um, out of the box to make it not uh, the focus window. Otherwise, if you're in here and you're pressing F1 and stuff, it won't work. You gotta click out of it. Then you can press F1. And this thing stays up exactly how you want, wherever you want it, which makes it nice and uh, nice and sweet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come down, you're gonna press menu, and you're gonna go to the support page. So we're on tack page right now, I'm gonna press it again, support, and you're gonna select HSI. Right, that is goal number one. Next thing. We're going to go to data and we're going to go ahead and put ourselves in a waypoint. So at the moment we're in uh, precise mode. We're going to turn that off and here we go. We're just going to change this to that. I'll go through what all that stuff is in a second there. So there we go. This is what we want. This is the setup. So north 25. One, three, five, nine. I'm going to go ahead and punch that in now. So what you're going to do first, you're going to press to add in a waypoint or a flight flight, um, flight plan. You're going to go sequence UFC, insert, one, enter. All right, and that's going to put in, so waypoint one is going to be our first waypoint. We're then going to go UFC, and we're going to come over here. We're going to hit position so that it's highlighted. We've got the two little dashes or two little uh, the semicolon mark there. I'm going to go ahead and punch it in. So we want to press number two for north. Okay, north. And I'm going to go two, five, one, three, five, nine. We're going to press enter. And then we're going to press number six for east. And then five, four, one, three, zero, six. We're going to press enter. And then elevation. We're going to change it to feet. And we're going to go one, three, eight feet. Enter. We can confirm that our waypoint is exactly as we copied there. And we're happy, happy, happy. So that has been inputted correctly. And if we now go to our HSI page and we press waypoint, box it, you can see we've got 51.2 nautical miles to Abu, whatever the hell that island was. And we can confirm that it is roughly there by just dragging over to us, 51.2. Right, so it is being put in. Waypoint is in. So that is just a standard lat long uh, waypoint, all right, which is good for navigating. But if you want to actually use a, a waypoint or uh, you know employ a, a JDAM, for example, a GPS guided bomb, 
or something that needs a lot more accuracy. We're going to go through that now. So when you go to your, so you're still on the HSI page, you go to data. If you cl click on the aircraft tab, all right, it tells you what you are in. All right, so lat long seconds and lat long decimal. All right, lat long seconds, lat long decimal. So you can choose whichever one, and it gives you an example there of what they look like. So if it's on your, uh, we go to the F10 menu again. So we're going to change it now. If I left Alt Y. There we go. So we're going to go to the, we'll move ourselves, piss that off. We're going to go to this one now. So we're going to copy this in. Okay, bring up this and let's go. So we'll just put it right in the middle of Syria Islands. Now we're going to go north to five, five, four, point six, zero, two. And then we're going to go east, five, four, three, one, point seven, four, seven. And altitude is 49 feet. All right. So there we go. So you can see that um, at the moment, our, we've only got two, two decimals instead of three. And we can change that in a second. So we're going to go back to the waypoint page and you're going to come down here and you're going to box precise. And when you do that, that gives you all of the decimals. Okay, all the decimal points, which is what we want. So you can get nice and precise. So it goes to four decimal points there. We, uh, on the F10 map, it goes to three. So we're going to use that. So now we're going to go to waypoint two. All right, we're going to use this. We're going to go sequence. We're going to insert, press number two, press enter. So all this is doing is updating our flight plan so we can use it to navigate and just fly from one point to the other. All right, don't have to do that, but it's just a handy thing to get into. Uh, we're then going to go to UFC. And because we've got precise checked, we're going to just go ahead and punch it in again. So north, two for north, two, five, one, three. Oh, wait, wait. North, two, five. God damn it. Two, five, five, four. All right, so now this is where it's different. So you punch in the first two, two, five, five, four. You press enter, and it's going to go into thousands. All right, then we're going to go six, zero, two. Enter. All right, and there we go. We've got that. And then we're going to do it again. East, five, four, three, one. Press enter. And then 747, enter. Elevation is going to be 49 feet, enter. And there we go. We can confirm that our waypoint has been entered correctly. Go to HSI. And we've got 77.1 nautical mile to there. So that is the next type of waypoint you can do. So now we're going to Go back to the menu here. We're going to go find another waypoint. Let's go Abu Musa now. And we're going to go to the next type, which is this one here. All right, there we go. So we're going to punch in this one now. All right, so again, let's move the mouse over. We're just going to copy it. North, two, five, five, two. To seven point zero three and east five five zero two zero nine point six four and it is twenty one feet. All right, so let's do it again. So we're going to go to data. We're going to change our thing to uh, that long seconds now. All right, so you just go to aircraft. And you can switch what type of uh, mode you're in by decimal or seconds. And then go back to the waypoint. So now we're going to go to waypoint three. Sequence. Insert three. Enter. And let's put in our third waypoint into our flight plan. And we're going to go UFC. I'm going to punch this in again. So position. North. Two, five. Five, two. Two, seven. Enter. And then zero, three. Enter and then east five five zero two zero nine. Enter and then sixty four. Enter elevation is twenty one feet. Enter done. We can confirm there. These match up the same. Five five zero two zero nine six four. Lovely. That's all good. 
before you box it. We've got a 100.1 nautical mile to our waypoint. And then the last one we're going to go through is MGRS. So we're going to again go to the F10 map. We'll pick our last island to hop around to. We're going to go up to Tun Beat. Left Alt Y to change to our MGRS coordinates in the top left I'm looking. All right, so again, we're going to click on the little scratch pad. We're going to put the cursor where we want it, and we're going to copy exactly that. 40R CQ, and then 30987-05946. And it is 47 feet. Make sure you write the elevation down as well, guys. Helps a lot. Right elevation. All right, so here we go. So now we're going to go waypoint four. All right, data. Uh, waypoint four, we're going to sequence, insert number four, enter. So we've got four waypoints punched in now. Now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to UFC and we're going to go ahead and we're going to press grid. Okay, so grid right here. And then we're going to select so 40R, so this is number 40 there, so 40R to the right, so we're going to press the E, east for east, E for east, until we see CQ, right, which is, there it is right there. So now, we're going to use our TDC cursor, move our little uh, TDC up there, we're going to press TDC to press, make sure that this is the, uh, the center of interest. All right, we're going to press TDC to press on CQ, bam, and then, we're going to go ahead and punch in our coordinates so all you're going to do is just type in this bad boy right here and what might trick you out is if you've got precise mode unboxed it will only let you put in six numbers okay as opposed to the uh the 10. all right so you miss out on four more four more numbers which isn't as precise so we're just going to go ahead and punch that in now so we're going to go i uh, don't have to do anything else just three zero nine eight seven and then zero five nine four six press enter all right so it's been put in elevation is 47 feet enter and then we can confirm there grid 40r cq 30987705946 47 feet done and we can see it's 122.0 nautical miles to the waypoint all right so now We've gone through how to put in all of your waypoints. All right. And if we go now to uh, waypoint sequence, you can see now we've got waypoint zero, waypoint one, waypoint two, waypoint three, waypoint four. So you can see it gives us by doing the, uh, what that little squiggly line is, that's our flight plan. So it's gonna, if we put our shit on auto, as soon as we hit the waypoint or get within five nautical miles or something whatever it is it's going to update and switch to the other one all right and you can just use it as a flight plan you don't have to do that and again how you did that was by the sequence ufc button to put in your uh, waypoints all right so nicely not a necessity you don't have to do that at all but that's how you input the different type of coordinates into uh into dcs so you can use lat long lat long decimal lat long seconds and you can also use mgrs grid now which is awesome so you can put a lot of uh different ways to input your data if you're working with a jtac or whatever and they give you a uh, a grid coordinate or a, a lat long decimal you can quickly change your aircraft to suit so that you can punch in the information you need to drop a bomb and kill whatever it is that the jtac's telling you to blow up Sweet. All right. I hope that helped, guys. That was a little bit longer than uh, normal, but um, yeah, I'll put the link in the description for the, the DCS scratch pad. Really helpful, really handy uh, little bit of uh, kit right there. It doesn't corrupt your integrity check as well, so you can use it on multiplayer servers. It won't corrupt anything, won't flag any errors, and may not let you join any, uh, any servers at all. I've been using it for a fair while, over a year now, and I've had no dramas with it at all, so... Yeah, it's very, very handy. Saves you having a, a notepad and pen all the time, for sure. Sweet. All right, so if you did like the video and you did like or you did learn something, I'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you haven't already, smash the subscribe button while you're at it. Let's see if we can keep humming along. We're just nearly at the uh, the 1,700 subscriber mark, which is crazy shit. Uh, so thank you to everyone that has subscribed. Thank you to everyone that has just hit the subscribe button as well. If you just hit it, love you. Thank you, thank you. 
And lastly, but not least, I do stream on Twitch Monday to Friday at 1300 Australian Western Standard Time. So if you haven't already, click the link down there, hit the follow button, and then you'll get uh, notified when I go live on stream. You can come in, hang out, ask any questions that you may have about DCS. Even if it's not about the Hornet, come in and ask away because uh, the DCS community on, on Twitch, most of the streamers, if not all the streamers, are super, super helpful and will you know do their best to answer your questions. And if they don't, then fuck them. Right, fuck him. Fucking leave. <laughs> but I'll never do that, all right? You ask me a question. If I don't know, I'll tell you straight up I don't know. Um, but I'll try my best to answer and not bullshit you, right? There's nothing worse than a bullshitter. You don't know, just say you don't know. It's not hard, really, is it? Anyways, boys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you fuckers on the next one. Peace.